This seven-year-old husky came in with a complaint of an ear infection, as well as unusual vaginal discharge. What is causing the vaginal discharge? How do we treat the ear infection? Watch this video to find out. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. First of all, we need to sedate the husky with an injection as she is very nervous. Sedation will make sure that she does not move around during the procedure, making the treatment easier. Here is the footage of the injection. Now we are taking its temperature. As can be seen here, it has a normal temperature of 38.9 degrees. Here's a diagram of the canine ear. The ear of the husky is shaved, which allows for more efficient ear irrigation. It also allows us to see the pus in the ear more clearly. Inside the infected ear, there is a lot of pus, and this will cause discomfort and hearing problems. And now we are removing the pus. Firstly, we are using surgical forceps to pick out the hardened pus. And now we are doing irrigation to wash out pus. We are doing this 10 times to make sure that the ears are completely cleaned up. Now we will be treating the unusual vaginal discharge. What is causing this is sickness. This sickness is known as pyometra, which is the bacterial infection of the uterus, causing the uterus to be filled with pus, and this is causing the vaginal discharge. First of all, we will be collecting its blood. This is part of the pre-operation and it is part of the health screening of the dog. Here's the footage of blood being collected from the husky. After blood is collected, IV drip is inserted into the dog's leg to rehydrate it. From the blood test results, we can see that uh, the blood is normal and especially the white blood cell and neutrophils are normal, suggesting that the infection is not serious. The usual treatment for pyometra is the removal of uterus through a surgery. However, in this case, the owner did not give consent and wanted us to give him antibiotics and painkillers instead. These medications were given and the husky went home. So the third of September 2017, this husky came back again because the owner could not fit the medication and uh, it's, it's also got the ear infection, they, they can't clean the ears or give ear drops so we need to sedate one time. Then, uh, then we irrigate the ear one more time, then take out the ear collar because the dog doesn't eat due to, you can see that it's not practical for a dog to eat with the ear collar on. The e collar is to prevent the dog from scratching the ear, but as you can There's see, a strong smell of vagina discharge and yellowish uh, because the, the, the owner couldn't feed the antibiotics due to the dog being uh, very fierce and biting. So, this is called open pyometra. Open means the discharge cervix is open. Our treatment today included removal of the e collar, and we gave antibiotics for the ear and the vagina. And since this is a very fierce dog, our advice was to crush the tablet of the antibiotic and put it inside the food. We can conclude from this case study that spaying your cat is very important as it prevents serious illnesses such as pyometra from occurring. It also reduces your expenses on your pet and improves the health of your pet as a whole. Another advice we have for pet owners is to seek early treatment as this will grant higher chance of a successful treatment. For more information, please contact us at the following numbers or write us an email at the following email address or visit our website at tobiobets.com.